Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I'm working on a Lenovo computer today. And the problem that I'm going to show you how to fix is if you get one of those blue screen errors. Sometimes you hear them called the blue screen of death. You think your computer's junked. Uh, so there's a variety of blue screen errors you can get. Um, also, sometimes your computer loads up and you think it's loading fine and then it gets stuck on a black screen with a blinking cursor or sometimes just a black screen. So um, also sometimes it may get stuck loading. Um, so that's the issue that we're gonna help you fix in, in this video. Uh, keep in mind that there are some issues that people m mistake for this. Uh, if your computer starts but then shuts off or freezes right away before you get to that initial logo screen on startup, that's a different fix. Look in the description for my computer won't start fix. Um, that'll be that video. Also, if your computer starts, you hear the motherboard um, clicking, you hear the fan engage, but nothing's displaying, you don't see the logo screen, you don't see anything, and the screen just stays black or very dim, that's a black screen fix. That'll also be down in the description below. So those are separate issues. So uh, we're gonna start by showing you how to fix this issue. I'll start by shutting off my computer. So the first thing that I would do in the shop to fix this is I would get my software out, my diagnostic software, and I would test your hard drive. But since a lot of Lenovo's don't come with that software built in, and since you probably don't have it at home, I'm gonna start you off on some software fixes that hopefully will fix your problem. And if that doesn't work, then we'll move on to operating system issues, and then we'll be able to tell if your hard drive is good or not. So the first thing you wanna do is shut your computer off, and unplug any external devices, any USBs or flash drives, uh, CDs, any external storage that's uh, plugged in. Remove everything and try to start your computer again. For some of you, that will work because what's happening is your computer gets tricked and it's trying to load your operating system off of that external device. Uh, so if you remove that, then your computer will default again to your hard drive and you should be all set. If that's your case, after you realize what it is, uh, go into your boot menu and make sure your hard drive is selected as first thing to be accessed because that could be your problem. If that doesn't help, let's go into BIOS. I'm going to hit power, tap on F2 right away for most Lenovo's. If F2 doesn't take you here, try hitting F1. But this is your base system, this is BIOS, this is where we want to be and I'm going to show you some fixes we can do in here. So the first thing that I'm going to have you check in BIOS is your date and time settings. So I don't see it here, so I'm going to arrow or, or tab over. Some of you can even use your mouse in here. But I'm going to arrow over. Under configuration, I found system date and time. Not all BIOS are the same, depending on your model and your year computer. So don't just look at your first screen and say, I can't find it. Uh, search through your tabs. Sometimes they move it around, sometimes it's called a different tab, but try to find your system date and time. If you can get into BIOS, you will be able to find it. So make sure that that date and time is correct. If that's not correct, it can cause all sorts of issues in your computer loading. Um, if you have to do this step a lot, um, it could show a problem with your CMOS battery. You may have to replace that. Um, but first thing you want to do, make sure your date and time is correct. If it's not correct and you have to change it, Change it here, hit save and exit down here, and then try rebooting your computer, see if that works. If that works, you know what the problem was, you fixed it, but if it happens a lot, um, consider changing out your CMOS battery. What could be happening is that your battery's going bad, your motherboard's losing power, and this is resetting every time you shut your computer off. So keep that in mind if this happens over and over again. If you rebooted your computer and that didn't help, I'm going to show you one more thing to change in, in BIOS. So let's go back over here to information. Now we're going to look for a, any place where it says a legacy setting, a UEFI setting, or a CSM setting possibly. Look for those settings in here. We're going to try to change those. So I don't see any legacy or CSM or UEFI in here. I'm going to go to the right. I don't see it in here. I'm going to go to security. So here under boot, under boot mode, it says UEFI. So that's one of the things you're looking for. Legacy, UEFI, or CSM. You're looking for that setting in BIOS. And again, you may have to look around a little bit like I just did. 
Basically, this can be one of two things. It can be set to UEFI, or it can be set to Legacy or CSM. Legacy and CSM are kind of the same thing. Uh, now, without a lengthy explanation, whichever one this should be set to is dependent on how your operating system was installed originally, which you probably won't know and you won't be aware of that. So we're just going to change it from what it is to what it's not. So mine says UEFI, I'm going to change it to legacy. So I'm on it right now, I'm going to hit enter. And if you see this pops up, and I can choose between UEFI and legacy. I can go up and down and change. So I'm going to hit legacy. So I just changed it to legacy. And I would hit save and exit, and then I would try to reboot. If you're on legacy, or if you're on CSM, uh, you would do it in reverse. You would find that setting, you'd click on it, and you switch to UEFI. Um, some of you, when you go to change from one to the other, you may notice that you're not able to. Maybe the option is grayed out or it's not showing, but it's not letting you change. If that's the case, go back over to the security tab. And again, you may have to look around, but go to your security tab where it usually is. And right down here, secure boot. Mine is disabled, which is why I can switch between the two. Yours may be enabled if, if, if you can't switch. So the first thing you want to do to be able to switch is make sure secure boot is off. And if you're switching to legacy, there may be another option to enable you to change to legacy. There may be two safeguards to stop you from switching to legacy. So make sure that you can change both of those. So whichever one you changed it to and whichever one you changed it from, save and exit. Try rebooting your computer. If your computer does not still boot, if it's still getting stuck there, then that means that it's not a BIOS issue. We're gonna now start working on your operating system or your hard drive. Now we can find out if it's one of those. So basically what you're gonna do here, down below in the description, there'll be a video on how to factory reset a Lenovo computer. Try to factory reset your operating system. If your operating system is too corrupt and the factory reset will not take, then there'll be another video link below on how to reinstall your operating system. If you cannot factory reset, and if you cannot install an operating system, that means your hard drive is bad. So we've eliminated BIOS, we've eliminated Windows, that means your hard drive is bad. There'll be another link below on how to swap out a hard drive for a, a Lenovo computer. And then once you've swapped it out, you'll have to install the operating system on that new one that works. So don't worry about this issue through these fixes. Uh, you will be able to identify why your computer is giving you this error and you will be able to fix it. So if you had any questions through this process, if you got lost somehow, or, or if you're seeing something that you can't ma make sense of that I didn't show you, uh, check out the frequently asked questions in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question below, I do try to get back to you a few times a day. Uh, so please like and share if this was helpful. Please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much for watching, guys.